Hi everyone, I'm Shauna Randolph, spokesperson of the Edmonton Humane Society with your This Week in EHS for May the 18th. And this week, we have four really good stories in one for you, including a genetic rarity in a cat, an albino hedgehog with some challenges, and a dog that got herself into a little bit of trouble. Let's start with her. This is Citadel, the Rottweiler Coonhound mix. The four-year-old girl was found as a stray on May 6 near Sherwood Park. While wandering around, she got stuck to part of a dead porcupine. We think maybe she was rolling on the carcass. Several quills stuck right into her. Someone brought her to us with the part of the porcupine still attached to her. It's pretty painful for quills to be in animals. Our medical team carefully removed them while Citadel was sedated. She was spayed and then placed up for adoption, and you can't even tell that she went through all of that. Here's an update on Spruce, the tabby kitten that we told you about last week. The little guy was wedged up in a tree and stuck there. We don't know how long he was in the tree on our property, in our off-leash dog park. One of our staff members spotted him and the whole team of our folks worked together to rescue him and get him down safely. Anyway, he's been neutered and placed up for adoption and he's a bit of a favorite among our volunteers and staff members since he is extremely sweet and affectionate. Now to some rarities. First meet Diesel. He's a 10-month-old who was surrendered to us on May 9th by someone who was moving and was not able to have pets in their new home. The thing about Diesel is that he's a tortie. He is a tortie. You see, tortie cats are almost always female. It is very rare for them to be a male. I've been here 22 years now and this is probably number four, maybe number five in, in the entire time. And you've seen thousands and thousands of cats. Oh yes, I mean every year we get in, uh, you know, at, at least 6,000, some years we were up to 10,000. It's actually a genetic rarity. Male cats usually have only one X chromosome along with their Y chromosome, as with most male mammals. But with male torty cats, they actually have an extra X chromosome. And with this genetic abnormality, most are often sterile. Still, we have neutered diesel, as we do with all male cats up for adoption. So if you'd like a rare cat who is also very cuddly and loving, you may want to consider him. And finally, here's Spike, the five-month-old male albino hedgehog who came to us on May 12th, apparently after a guinea pig that he was living with was chewing on his quills. It's not often that we have hedgehogs in, let alone albino ones with missing quills and that are also blind, like Spike is. So he's getting some extra TLC in foster care to see if some of the quills will grow back before he can be placed up for adoption. Great stories all wrapped up into one for you. You never know what kind of stories we're going to have for you. So join us again next week. In the meantime, have a great long weekend and wonderful next week.